Okay. okay. Can it be the blue eyes white dragon in a dump like this? It is the card I've been searching for. This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now I activate a magic card known as Gold Sarcophagus. Meet Mechanical Chaser and Ground Attacker Barbara. More machine cards. For this list, we're going to be looking at some of the most priceless and expensive cards to emerge from the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. We'll be considering the estimated value of cards based on their rarity, appraisal rating, as well as current asking prices of cards featured on eBay. Which one-of-a-kind, priceless card do you think deserves a spot on this list? Let us know in the comments, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBow, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which Yu-Gi-Oh list you want to see next. Number 10, Schooner, the Leonine Rakan. When it comes to priceless Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Schooner is just the tip of the iceberg. This one is very, very hard to find, an expensive item indeed. It's, I think there's only six of this in the world. Unlike most cards you can find in circulation, this ultra-rare original print Beast Warrior was one of the exclusive prize cards of the 2009 World Championship. As a result, only six copies of this card are thought to exist, making it pretty unlikely to find for sale online, which only further adds to its rarity. Originally valued at $6,000, the price of this card has shifted over the last decade. In 2018, its value was estimated to be around $7,500. While it can't be used in official duels, it's still a unique card worthy of any collection. But a second prize has not been printed before, so this one is still priceless. Number 9. Blue Eyes White Dragon As one of the most powerful and iconic monsters in the franchise, most Blue Eyes White Dragon cards are worth so much that only someone like Kaiba can afford them. Hey. Okay. Can it be the Blue Eyes White Dragon in a dump like this? It is the card I've been searching for. In 2017, Twitter user at NightMiyabi sold four secret rare Japanese Blue Eyes White Dragons to pay for his daughter's education, with each one being worth more than $5,000. Another rare type of Blue Eyes are those from the 2002 Dark Duel stories, valued on average between $10,000 to $20,000. However, the crown jewel of Blue Eyes are the first edition from the 2002 Legend of Blue Eyes, which have fetched asking prices of up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. I summon Blue Eyes White Dragon! In May of this year, one of these bad boys sold for more than $55,000 on eBay. Guys, this is the grail right here. This is Kaiba himself. Number 8. Mechanical Chaser It may not look like much, but back in the day, Mechanical Chaser was considered one of the best 4-star attackers. One card in particular embodies the very essence of power creep, Mechanical Chaser. While most versions of Mechanical Chaser are pretty common, pulling the right copy can earn you thousands of dollars. In the first season tournament pack, it's possible to pull an ultra-rare version of Mechanical Chaser. Oh, Mechanical Chaser. No way. One in 108 packs and I got it. A card which many collectors consider to be extremely valuable. For most lucky enough to find it, a mint condition Mechanical Chaser's value can reach up to $20,000. Most recently, this card was sold on eBay for more than $10,000. Not bad for a card that was only summoned once in the anime. Meet Mechanical Chaser and Ground Attacker Barbara! More machine cards! Number 7, Gold Sarcophagus. Essentially the Yu-Gi-Oh equivalent to the Ark of the Covenant, the Gold Sarcophagus spell card is a one-of-a-kind artifact. Used by Yugi to defeat the Pharaoh in the anime, the real-life version of this card may have a different effect, but it's still a game-changer. Now I activate a magic card known as Gold Sarcophagus! 
Among all the different versions of this card, there are two that stand out the most. The first being the promo card from the 2007 Pharaoh Tour, which reached an asking price of nearly $26,000 on eBay. Then there is the Shonen Jump Championship Series version, which recently sold on eBay for more than $14,000 in June 2021. Number 6. Cyberstein Its ability may cost players more than an arm and a leg, but for the most loyal collectors, the right Cyberstein is worth any price. A BGS 8.5 near mint to mint. Near mint to mint. Cyberstein. The most coveted version of this card is the one awarded to winners of the 2004 Shonen Jump Championship. Even with a PSA rating of 8, this card is worth at least several thousand dollars. Most recently, a Cyberstein with a BGS rating of 9.5 sold for more than $20,000 on eBay, while another fetched an asking price of more than $45,000. For those lucky enough to own one of the very few mint condition PSA 10 rated Cybersteins, they possess a card whose value currently surpasses $30,000. Number 5. Dark Magician Girl Considering she's one of the franchise's most iconic waifus, it's no surprise that this charming spellcaster has become so valuable. There are several different versions of Dark Magician Girl, with each one's value varying from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars. The secret rare Dark Magician Girl from the 2003 Magician's Force is considered one of the rarest. Behold! Dark Magic Energies! Please hear my call! One such card sold earlier this year for nearly $10,000 on eBay, while another fetched an asking price of nearly $30,000. There exist even more expensive versions of the Dark Magician Girl, including a limited edition one that was exclusively distributed during a Japanese lottery that is said to be worth $50,000. This is actually kind of hard to get. Well, it's not that hard to get. It came with the DVD uh, memor memorabilia release. Number four, Kaiser Eagle, The Heaven's Mandate. As far as championship prize cards go, they don't get much bigger or more expensive than Kaiser Eagle. This extra secret rare Link Monster was the prize card awarded to the winner of the 2019 Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship. While its monetary value has shifted over the past two years, Kaiser Eagle was originally valued at more than $100,000. As of this writing, a sealed version of this card has been featured on eBay with an asking price of $140,000. A price worthy of an emperor, or in this case, a kaiser. Number 3. Tyler the Great Warrior When it comes to one-of-a-kind cards, Tyler the Great Warrior is in a league of its own. Unlike most cards, this one was designed in 2002 by a fan named Tyler Gressel, who was diagnosed with a rare form of liver cancer at the age of 14. Tyler, in 2002, uh, got a wish granted to him by the Make-A-Wish Foundation. At the time, he was dealing with a really rare form of cancer, to my understanding, and as far as history goes, and the Make-A-Wish Foundation decided to grant him one wish. Tyler's intense battle with cancer eventually reached the Make-A-Wish Foundation, who granted him the opportunity to design his very own Yu-Gi-Oh card. And thus, Tyler the Great Warrior was born. Many years later, Tyler, who has since fully recovered, has been offered more than $75,000 for his original card. Considering its unique origins and the inspirational story behind it, one could argue that the cost of Tyler the Great Warrior may very well be immeasurable. Number 2. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon Along with having the highest attack and defense of any non-effect monster, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is also the key to summoning the equally powerful Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. <laughs> While 
while there are plenty of rare and expensive versions of this card, the T3 Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon soars far above the rest. A prize card from the 2001 Asia Championship Series, this rare sealed Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon comes with a signboard featuring the signature of Kazuki Takahashi, the creator of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. Now, behold the power of my Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! The strongest monster in Kaiba's deck! While the current owner of this card attempted to sell it for more than $900 million in 2016, it was later put on display at Card Shop Spiral in Tokyo, where it is on sale for more than $400,000. Before we unveil our number one pick, here's some honorable mentions. Dark Magician, First Edition, Legend of Blue Eyes. Crush Card Virus, Shonen Jump Championship Series. Armament of the Lethal Lords, 2006 World Championship. Des Vols Golf, Shonen Jump Championship Series. Tear the Vanquishing Warlord, 2008 World Championship. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Black Luster Soldier Forget out of this world, the value of this card is out of this dimension. Who'd have thought there'd be a way of bringing that kick butt monster out of Yugi's deck? Following Japan's first nationwide Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship back in 1999, the winner was awarded with a one-of-a-kind stainless steel version of Black Luster Soldier. In 2013, someone tried to sell this card for a whopping $10 million. While there has not been any confirmation this card sold for that much, there is a rumor claiming that it was sold for an astronomical $2 million. If reaching the million dollar mark wasn't impressive enough, this card also has the honor of being considered one of the most expensive trading cards of all time. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.